At times, being a YouTuber can feel like a very lonely experience. You often work by yourself with no support structure to rely on. You don't have coaches, teachers, or mentors to answer the big questions. And you don't have like-minded, passionate content creators to share your experiences with. Well, you know what? It's about time we fix that. So yeah, how do you get more views on YouTube? If you ask this question to a YouTube employee, they will give you an answer that often sounds something like this. You need to make videos that your audience wants to watch. But here's the thing, if you don't have an audience, what do you do? And even if you had an audience, how do you know what they want to watch next? Say hello to Alexei, or at least a memed version of it. He is the first of our vidIQ Max professional coaches. And what you're watching is a tiny snippet of one of those vidIQ Max coaching sessions. And it's a session that goes far beyond answering that very simple question of how to get more views. Because quite frankly, Alexi wouldn't have it any other way. When you're looking at all these videos here, you need to think about one thing. Is this a video that you wish you had on your channel? Is this a video your ideal viewer would have watched? And if you're not sure, what can help you spot the right videos is creating a viewer persona or avatar. This is something that has already been posted in our Discord. We have Dan who shared his viewer avatar. He's basically describing what his ideal viewer looks like. And um, by the way, this is the type of insight and conversation we encourage in the Max Discord community. Say hello to a non-memed version of Jeff. As vidIQ Max professional coach number two, Jeff is also a content creator just like you. Ah, oh, nice rhyming couplet there, Rob. What Jeff is a seasoned coach and responsible content creator cannot put up with nor comprehend is when somebody starts a video without a plan. Many creators who I speak with who will have an idea just like pop up into their head and they'll just turn on the camera, record a video, upload it, and th then they just end up getting stuck trying to wrap a title and a thumbnail around a video that they've already created. This is literally backwards thinking. Optimizing your workflow before turning on your camera can help you have more successful videos by ensuring that what you actually say and do in your videos match your title and thumbnail. This is kind of where I start. So let's say a recent video that I was looking at making was about these Sony link buds. Basically what I'm looking for are scores of 50 or higher. That's kind of the rule of thumb. Also going to be looking at our related keywords for additional ideas. Um, the features, talk about the pricing, maybe a first look. Is it an unboxing that I want to do? We do have the AI title recommendations now. So let's say that I want to make a video about these Sony link buds. I want to come up with a couple of different titles for this. Like I want to have a few different ways of saying this video, right? So here we have Sony link buds, the earbuds that'll blow you away. Sony link buds, how to make great sounding headset. This is a good way to kind of start getting some ideas on some titles that could be intriguing and it could help you before you even start writing your script. If you need kind of a, an angle on like what kind of video are you making right is this going to be a listicle is it going to be a review or a tutorial or an opinion you see with vidIQ max not only do you get all of our youtube growth tools but also exclusive access to our youtube growth coaches and all of that 24 7 youtube support will cost you less than this per day that's because we have a very special and very limited offer the next 100 new vidIQ customers can use this promo code and get vidIQ Max annual plans for just $69 a month. That is a whopping 30% discount on our regular pay per month Max plan. And to make things super easy, we've got a link in the video description that will automatically apply that promo code for you as long as you're one of the first 100 to redeem the code. Basically, when it comes to vidIQ Max, we'll teach you how to research everything including thumbnails. You need to be doing thumbnail research. So you're a cooking channel. So we'll start with red velvet cake. Some of these are using text, but not all of them. But the main pattern that I'm seeing here is you better make sure you're showing that cake. Like that's more important, even more important than the creator themselves. But if you went over to like a makeup and beauty channel, you would notice that they do a lot of side by side, a lot of before and after. Also give Jeff a like on this video for sourcing this exclusive swag. Just cool. All right then. Who's next? The YouTube algorithm and how YouTube works and why it works the way it does. Because ultimately the questions that you're asking are really asking about an audience. If you're asking, should I live stream? Uh, what's this thumbnail look like? Is this a good thumbnail? Is this a good title? Those all can be answered with the same exact answer. What does your audience want? Ah yes, here we are. VidIQ Max professional coach number three, Travis. 
who you might consider the architect of this whole enterprise. And what Travis is about to tell you is something that starts out really obvious, but ends up so nuanced, even I didn't realize this. YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet. But what a lot of you may not know is that the vast majority of views on YouTube do not come through search. Over 70% of all views on YouTube come through the recommendation engine. People who are searching for things have an intent. Nine times out of 10, they want an answer to a question. YouTube is trying to accomplish something very important for all viewers. It's trying to keep people on platform for as long as possible, obviously to serve ads and that sort of thing, but also to keep people coming back. It predicts what you will watch next. If you go to your homepage on YouTube, you'll find a couple of different buckets for videos. Number one, you'll find videos from channels you are subscribed to. You will then find videos from channels you've never seen before, but about topics you've recently watched. Then, and I love this because this is the magic of the algorithm. And I tell everyone when I explain this to them to find these videos, if you scroll enough on your homepage, you will find videos that have nothing to do with anything you've ever searched before. You won't even know who these creators are. Like it'll just be some random looking video. It's actually been using an algorithm to understand that you are going to like it before you even know. It. VidIQ Max already has dozens of pre-recorded coaching sessions with at least two more sessions every single month. And the VidIQ Max access only Discord group where the conversation is nothing but YouTube growth. Beyond our Max coaching team, we also bring in industry experts. Here's Ian Corzine revealing a couple of secrets about copyright on YouTube. If, if I were to show a 15 minute clip, would people be coming to my channel to watch that particular scene for its entertainment value? Or would they be coming there to watch me? And chances are they would not be coming to watch me. You know, Luke, I am your father. Do you want to talk about that? Well, realize that that particular part of the video, you can't show that scene uh, because the heart is the thing that you're going to get slammed for. We also toss in tons of random extra perks every single month to make sure that we always over deliver. But in order to find out what they are, yeah, you'll have to sign up. And don't forget to use that promo code on Max annual plans for a huge discount before it's too late. We are already helping creators hit major milestones and you could be next. Take your YouTube education to the max with this lot. Otherwise, you just have to put up with my boring face.